and with that being said, the, you know, we've got, we've got, there are, there are abortion clinics still around. So people, you know, if they have to, if they feel that they've got to get an abortion, they can still get one, unfortunately, right now. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm so praying and so hopeful and so optimistic that Missouri could be the first state in the country to be without an abortion clinic. And, you know, and, and I'm saying this, I'm telling, I, this is such an important deal to me because I spent my life raising other people's kids. I raised eight children, six girls and two boys, none of which were my biology because God put me in places even when I didn't even know I wasn't even paying attention to God. I knew who God was. But God put me in places where he needed and wanted me to be to take care of these children. So with that being said, I'm going to, I'm going to do something right now that uh, is kind of different, and I just hope, hope you'll bear with me. I'm looking for somebody else. I'm looking for somebody else that will join with me and run down to Tulsa and go stand in front of that abortion clinic on Saturdays uh, when, they're, when they kill 20, 25 babies down there. And uh, I asked my pastor if he would go go with me down there. And he said that, uh, Kevin, uh, he says, I'd love to do it. You know, I've got, got a lot of stuff going on. But he says, I just can't do it because i got to mow my yard. So you'll, you'll, you'll have to go find somebody else. And, uh, and then I was, I, was looking, I, I was looking for somebody else to, to go stand with me in front of an abortion clinic down in San Antonio, Texas, that only pays a dollar a year for their uh, rent in this abortion clinic because the city council funds this hundred uh, where they would normally pay ten thousand dollars a month for rent for this building they only pay a dollar a year for rent down at this abortion clinic down in san antonio texas and and i asked a good friend of mine i said uh, i said jim would you go down with me down here to this abortion clinic so we can stand out there and maybe stop a few a few of these babies from being murdered on a saturday or a sunday when they're open and they're killing these babies would you do that would you join that with me and he goes kevin man he says you know i i appreciate you I love you. He says, but you know, I, my, my wife has got, her sister's got a birthday this weekend and we got to take care of that. So you're going to have to go find somebody else. I'm looking for somebody else. They're so hard to find. You know, somebody else that might have a spine. Somebody else that might stand up for something. I'm looking for somebody else. And I've been talking about this for quite a while. I used to be an introvert. I, I was an introvert and I was afraid of my own shadow at some times. But by listening to and, le and learning from the Word of God, He has drawn me out of my shell. He has, he, he has given me the courage of David. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die for any reason that as long as I'm fighting for the Lord and fighting for life, I will give my life to save another life. With the trials and tribulations that are going on in this country right now, we need every man, whether you believe in God or not, we need every man to stand up for right. Because right now we're looking at either right or wrong. Good versus evil. So would you be somebody else? Could you be somebody else? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody else. And if you want to be somebody else, give me a call. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. You can call me on my cell phone at 417-850-4736. Folks, I'm telling you right now, you type in the name Kevin Van Story on Google, you're going to find me. I'm not hidden. I'm not hiding. You can see me out there very well. Stand up for righteousness. Stand up for the right and wrong. Stand up for when Target wants to take and turn... Uh, uh, bathrooms and, uh, to, to allow anybody that just vet, it, I, I, I identify as a 15 year old girl today so I want to go in the girls bathroom okay stand up stand up stand up grow a spine be somebody else okay with that being said we're going to start talking a little bit about some real estate I found out this week I have a I heard an interview with a guy by the name of Barry Habib who is uh, I've been listening to him for about five or six years, and he is a he has a, a, a company called MBS Highway, which he 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 basically follows mortgage rates and treasury rates and treasury bonds and treasury yields and and everything of that nature. And he uh, 